Hey guys, what's up? Scotch Tuck here once again, and this couch just gets more and more manky looking every fucking video, doesn't it? <sighs> anyway, right, I've tried to do this swinging collection update for like a week now, but I keep getting interrupted and saw that if I get interrupted again, if somebody walks through that door, fuck them. I'm doing this, I'm doing it now, games I bought, right, now. Right, you guys will remember, last collection update, I was talking about um, four uh, specific things Zelda related for the GameCube. Well, I showed off two of them and I now have the other two. So, for the sake of completion, I'm going to show off the other two again because I do have a little bit of an updated opinion on them. So, uh, the first thing was uh, Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. I played this for about 15 minutes. I didn't really dig it that much, sorry. Um... You can really tell that, you know, it's a game not really... Well, at least it doesn't really play like Zelda when you're playing by yourself, that's for sure. Um, you're supposed to play it with other people, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I couldn't... I've n I don't really plan to go back to it, to be honest. But I'm glad to have it, at least. So, yeah. Who knows, maybe I'll find all those fucking wires or something and get it that way, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway. Uh, and the other thing I talked about uh, the other day time was um legend of zelda uh collector's edition promotional disc now one thing i am gonna say guys right big big development here right i actually for whatever reason went back and played majora's mask okay oh my fucking god i love majora's mask now i don't you know you know that top 12 zelda games video i did i put majora's mask at number 10 that's hideously outdated now i'd probably bump it up to like number six now or something you know um, yeah, that game, it just, I don't know what it was, I just felt like playing it and I couldn't put it down and it just grew on me so much. It's so weird how, I mean, I used to hate that game so much, I was like, couldn't get into it at all and now it's like, it's so good! Um, I don't know, it's an inexplicable thing, but yeah, I will say though, this version of the game was shit. It was slowing down all over the place. Compared to when I played it on the uh, Wii Virtual Console, you know, this one was just laggy and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it was um, kind of sucked me out of the experience a wee bit, but whatever. Really glad that I played through that again, you know, and uh, sort of discovered a sort of love for it and shit, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, on to the other two Zelda games that were for the GameCube. That GameCube related, I should say. Yep, I finally got this. The GameCube version of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Um, I just finished this here right now. I really feel like playing it again, so I figured I might as well fucking play it on the GameCube. Uh, still one of my favourite Zelda games. Loads and loads of fun. I think I prefer the Wii version. I don't know if that's blasphemy. I prefer how it looks. I noticed that there was little itsy bitsy bits of slowdown here and there that I don't remember seeing on the uh, Wii version. Also, the Wii version is widescreen, and honestly, I think the Wii version has better controls. Some of you are like, what? But, honestly, I do. Not necessarily the whole waggle thing with the Wii remote, because, yeah, that's kind of annoying. Not, doesn't affect the game experience, but it's a bit annoying. But, things like pointing to the uh, screen and all that, and being able to move while you're aiming, you can't do that in this version, and it's so much better on the Wii. It really is, so... I'd say this is the inferior version. Uh, it was interesting to play it with the whole world flipped over though, because that's one thing that this game does, because Link is left-handed in this one, and in the Wii one he's right-handed. As a result, they mirrored the whole damn world, but whatever, it was cool, so yeah. And the last thing I got was The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker Collector's Limited Edition thing. I originally only had, like, um... Uh... Greatest Hits version of Wind Waker, and I really wanted to get this with the uh, Ocarina of Time bonus disc in it, and with the Master Quest. Very soon, I'm going to sit down and play through Master Quest, okay? Um, I know you can get it on the 3DS version as well, but I kind of just want to play it on the original N64 graphics and all that, you know? It's like, they've got a charm that the 3DS version doesn't really emulate well for me you know i still love that version a lot but i think i'm gonna go through this one with the uh, master quest so yeah uh very pleased to have those now and uh yeah on to some other new games right uh, i picked up a couple of wii u games uh they were cheap and i was just like nah fuck it i don't i didn't really want either of them to be honest but they were cheap and i'm terrible with money so i've got them anyway 
first one was Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I tried playing it. It looks prettier. I still don't think I'm a big fan of Monster Hunter. So, yeah, there was that. And the other one was New Super Luigi U, the physical version. Surprisingly, I had a, quite a decent time with this. Never did beat it. Because when I was playing for New Super Mario Bros. U, I was like, oh god, it is just literally the same fucking shit. Whereas this one, you know, the level design and all that, and the way Luigi controls, even though it's slippery as fuck, it actually felt different enough to me that I kind of fancied playing it for quite a bit, you know? So, yeah, I would, um... If you can find this cheap enough, I would go for it. I really would. So, yeah. And folk are shouting downstairs, but I told myself I wouldn't allow interruptions to impede this video, so fuck that, right. Now on to, let's see, we got a PS3 game here. Hmm, do I really want to talk about why I bought this? Not really. Why don't you guys look up this game and uh, you can figure it out by yourself. Why did I buy it, you might ask? <laughs> uh, see, see the earlier comment about uh, too much money in little sense, but uh, yeah, Hyper Dimension, Neptunia. I wanted to support Ness, okay? I really like Ness and I want to give them my money. Right. Uh, next we have Final Fantasy Anthology. This and Final Fantasy Origins is something I've been really meaning to get around to a while. Final Fantasy Origins has Final Fantasy 1 and 2 in it. This one has Final Fantasy 4 and 5. I've already played 4. I played it a few years ago. Good game, good game. Not as good as 6, I don't think. 6 is my favourite Final Fantasy. And I really want to give 5 a whirl because after playing Bravely Default with its old job system and that, which apparently took a lot of influence from uh, Final Fantasy 5, I'm really curious to give it a go. So, yeah. Final Fantasy goodness, yay. Now, speaking of Bravely Default again, that was my reason for seeing this game and wanting to get it. Final Fantasy, The Four Heroes of Light. This is from the makers of Bravely Default, who have been working with Square for a while, apparently. And this game is apparently, you know, Bravely Default was the spiritual successor to this. It's got the same play style and whatnot, and even just looking at the box and all that, the art style and stuff seems the same. So, definitely interested in giving this a go. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering, guys, I, I think I should make a full video on it because I have some really mixed things to say about Bravely Default. Overall, it was still one of my favourite games last year and an amazing RPG that I highly recommend GRPG fans check out. But... Mm, there were some things, there were definitely some things that were just bugged me, really. Um, I, I probably will get around to that video, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Right, last two games here are uh, DS games as well. Dragon Quest VI, okay. Never touched many of the Dragon Quest games, let me think. I played Dragon Quest IX on the DS. Um, not that not that brilliant to me, to be honest. I, I In the sense that I don't really remember much of it, you know, so... Um, really want to try and give some of these earlier games a go, like, and I really hope Dragon Quest X comes out, by the way, on the Wii U over here, you know, that'd be an int even though I'm not really an MMO guy, it would still be an interesting thing to, uh, you know, get over here. Uh, there's also a Final Fantasy VII, uh, no, pfft. Dragon Quest VII Remake, just like this for the 3DS, yeah, this is a remake of, uh, I believe Dragon Quest VI was a SNES game? I don't know. So, yeah, I, re I really should dwell into Dragon Quest at some point, like. And the last one we have is, um, Last Window, The Secret of Cape West. This is the sequel to Hotel Dusk. Now, I have mixed feelings on the game Hotel Dusk, you know. People like to put it in the same sort of, like, um, group as games like Ace Attorney, uh, Professor Layton, um, what else? Uh... Come on, there's other ones. Oh yeah, Zero Escape, and I guess Trauma Center as well. But to me, these games are actually like very low tier compared to those. You know, like they're the worst in that sort of group. Not necessarily bad too, but kind of the worst. And I will be honest, I played through this for a few hours, and I don't really fancy going back to it, you know, because I'm kind of getting the same feeling of, yeah, with this that I got with Hotel Dusk, you know. Um... I'm still really gutted that the company, uh, Zing, Sing, how do you pronounce that? I don't know. Um, I'm really gutted that they, like, 
This was like their last game, basically, and it only made a European release. You guys in America did not get this one. Mind you, region free. How about that, Nintendo? Region free with benefits. Yeah. But so, yeah, you can still easily get your hands on it. And it wasn't expensive at all. It was like a tenner, so I figured, I think I'll give this a go. But, yeah. Uh, sorry, Kyle Hyde. Uh, you're kind of... Uh, it's just, it's the competition you face, sorry, that kind of affected my opinion on you. I apologize, I'm sorry, but what can you do? Right, so, that's all that there. Um, yeah. See you after, thanks for watching, bye-bye. Here's to 2014 games, oh yes. Cheater bye. Fucking car!